Welcome back, everybody. I'm Tank, and this is another episode of Roadie Reactions. Get with this. If you're returning to the channel, you already know what day of the week it is. It's Nightwish Wednesday. This is the day of the week where I dive deeper down the rabbit hole and continue my personal musical journey with Nightwish. Now this week's reaction might surprise a few of you because it might not be going where everybody thought it would. There were a few comments for this song, but not as many as a lot of others. And the reason I'm doing it is because of my dad. Fasha, he's dad. Dad is Fasha. Oh, he's dad. Oh, his father. Yes, I have a Dutch accent. Isn't that weird? If you've been following the channel, you know that my dad got into Nightwish the same time I did and he's listened to a ton at this point, and I haven't because I've been waiting to do reactions. So he texted me and said, hey man, I don't think a lot of people have recommended this, but this song rocks. I would love to see you do it next, so I'm gonna do it. The link to this video will be in the description below, as always. And for the very first time, I am gonna be reacting to Nightwish's Devil and the Deep Dark Ocean live in Buenos Aires. Let's go! Okay, so we'll give you this nice little piece. It's called Devil and the Deep Dark Ocean. Is Marco going to be singing on this one? I see her windmilling this time, by the way. Let's go, Marco. This is the first time I've been able to visibly notice how tall Fleur is compared to the rest of the band. Marco sounds good. Kai's slamming the drums. This is my first time watching Nightwish. I've seen him with the band, so that's awesome. Production looks killer. So far, the only thing that stood out for me, I noticed that Marco is playing a Warwick bass. Those were some of my favorite when I first started playing in bands. I love them. Let's continue. Oh, she's going hard with that headbang. Deep dark is the justice kingdom. Falling on the morrow's world. Let's have the liquid. Give him power. The red eye and bone man. We do embrace of the black red water. The creator of infinite blue. Spell to master this earth. Carve it on the earth. Fire so good. I want to point something out. They had that camera shot when she was singing. She looked so much like Hela in uh, one of the Thor movies. I have a feeling Marco's voice is very underrated only because he's overshadowed by Fleur so much. Marco's voice is incredible. I'm sure a lot of you know that, but he has a awesome voice. Jesus. 
I thought I wouldn't be surprised at this point. Look at that crowd. I want to go back and lead into that because I'm just like so blown away by her. This song rocks, man. So from my perspective, just on the production side of things, it looks like less than the videos I've been watching at Vakken. Um, Still impressive. A lot of lighting going on. Huge video screen in the back. That takes a lot to set up. If it's the kind of video screen I think it is, those go up panel by panel, maybe like that big, and all have to be linked together and then dialed in by a video crew. It's a lot of setup. Let's lead back into that part. Before we get into this part, I just got to point out, Kai is slaying it. I don't know if this song was written when he was in the band or not. My gut instinct says no. But man, his drum work is impeccable. And yesterday I reacted to Winter Sun for the first time and I was blown away. And he's bringing that energy and element from Winter Sun into this. I mean, he's just wailing. Let's go back a little more. From cradle to coffin, shall my wickedness be your passion? Ooh, nice little change there. I'm Thank you so much. a little yeah. shocked right now. Half of that song, I was waiting for Empu to go into a guitar solo. That was a no solo song in terms of him standing out. Wow. That song rocked. Let's talk more about it here in the outro. So after listening to Nightwish for the fourth time ever, still love it, still impressed, still want to hear loads more. All that being said, this might be my least favorite Nightwish song that I've heard so far, but keep in mind, that's only been three songs. And I'm not saying that this was a bad song by any means. I enjoyed it. I loved rocking out to it. I loved watching their energy. It just didn't stand out to me as much as the other three songs that I've heard. Marco and Fleur had some great vocal exchanges going back and forth, and I love Marco's voice. I feel like he might be a little underrated only because he's overshadowed by the power of Fleur's voice, but that guy can sing, and I want to hear more of it. 
And it was super cool to see Kai on the drum set with Nightwish for the first time. He brings that energy he had with Winter Sun straight into Nightwish, shreds the whole time. He's phenomenal. But where the f*** is Troy? I thought this was going to be a Troy video, and I've wanted to see him ever since you guys brought him up. But I do read every single comment you guys leave, and I know which songs to get to next where he's going to be in there, and I can finally see everybody together. So if this is your first time here, feel free to click subscribe. I release new videos every day at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, and every Wednesday is Nightwish Wednesday. So make sure those alerts are on, because if they are, you'll be alerted right away when I drop a new video. If you liked this video, I would much appreciate it if you gave it a like, and if you disliked it, be honest and dislike it. I don't care. I'm a big boy. I can handle it. I'm also on social media, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch. Also just started a brand new Discord server and I'll put the link in the description. I check it regularly. You can give me video suggestions, chat about whatever, it doesn't even have to be music related. And my handle on everything is at tank the tech. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back very soon with another episode of Roadie Reactions.